Hello Tempest family, today we are taking you to Milan, Italy because we have some exciting news to share with you and trust me, this is super cool, I'm really excited about that Watch brand Frédéric Constant is introducing its new ambassador for the High Life collection French DJ and producer Tristan Cazara aka The Avner If you don't recognize his name, you will surely know his hit songs such as Fade Out Lines or Castle in the Snow. For this new collaboration, we have the chance to ask him a few questions. So come with me. It's everywhere I look, from last week's to right here. You released your famous single, Fed Outlines, in 2013. Yep. How would you say your music has evolved over the last nine years? Oh, um, it evolves every day, you know. Um, through the travels, through the show, through the, the guy, the people I met, it never stops. So my music is, um, I try to, to explore different worlds right now, different types, different um, emotions. So uh, at the beginning, Fed Out Times was a chill lounge track, then it becomes a dance floor song. So it propels me to the dancing festivals. So I learned a lot uh, as a DJ. Um, playing in a lot of uh, big crowds, so um, this um, improved me uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of things uh, through my creativity, so I can say that right now in 2022 I'm free to create because of Fade Outlines, because it gives me success and the chance to say yes or no, yeah. you know, and this, this is the thing we're all looking for as an artist. The, the main thing it gives me is uh, the freedom. Yeah. And the freedom to create, the freedom to say yes, I want to collaborate, no, I don't want to collaborate. So that's uh, the main word, freedom. Uh, as a writer, I'm always fascinated by different uh, creative processes. Yep. What is your personal creative process when you're making music? Oh. I mean, if you, I mean, you have one or yeah, you, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. it's I, kind I of many, many. Yeah. Uh, it's difficult to tell that this is this thing who makes me creative, who gives me inspiration. Personally, I would say that um, firstly is the the place where you live, the guy, the, the people you met, yeah. and uh, maybe after that, um, travels, um, emotions you get through these travels. There is many things that gives you creativity. Just the thing you have to know is when the creativity knocks your, your doors, mm -hmm. you have to open it, and you have to create right now, right here. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when I feel to be uh, creative, I lock down in the studio and in my studio and I stay a few hours, 10 hours, sometimes a few days, you know, and uh, until I'm happy about what I've done. And I think this is what we share with the watchmaker because they, they have this kind of gesture I have, you know, in the studio, the precision, the excellence, the components that we had, or this one, or not this one, it can change everything. Like in a song, one single note can change everything. Uh, I will not go into philosophy, but it's a, it's, a, it's a great relation that the time and the music, the frequency can, uh, can, uh, can link together. It's the first time that you are partnering with a watch brand. What appeals to you about watches, especially uh, the watches of yeah. Frédéric Constant? Um, the, this is the, the, the first time yeah, someone asked me to collaborate with, uh, with watch. You know, my relation to time is like the watchmaker because um, I learned the time through a metronome when I was a, a child because yeah. I learned the classical music uh, when I was five. I started at five, the piano. And th so I had this uh, metronomic movement in front of my head two or three hours a day from 5 to 15. So this is my first relation. And then when I, when Niels from Frédéric Constant came to me and said, I want to collaborate with you, um, it was uh, such an honor to, to collaborate with the, this Maison because uh, I knew the brand. I didn't know exactly how they work on the, their mechanism or how they sell in the world, their, their brand is famous or not. But the thing is, the first thing that appears to me is the, I like the design uh, because it's quietly a little bit classical, you know, but with touch of modernity. And for me, it was uh, it makes sense that we can collaborate together because the, the watchmakers 
is always looking for precision, excellence, um, giving emotions to. This relation I have to time and, uh, and the precision as a perfectionist, I know it's hard, but yeah, I am. I think it makes sense that uh, I can collaborate with Frédéric Constant because um, all the guys working in this manufacturer are passionate guys, passionate people, and uh, doing a really great job. And um, I didn't know this world before. Yeah. They offered me the chance to uh, improve my knowledge into this, uh, this world. I sincerely uh, think that this collaboration uh, could be great and uh, gives benefit to a lot of us, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, I really enjoy to do this partnership with uh, Frédéric Constant because first of all, I like the, the watch. Secondly, uh, this is a luxury watch, but still affordable. Yeah, and um, for my uh, way of life, my, my thinking is great to, to collaborate with uh, Frédéric Constant. And you were talking about the watch and why you like them. Uh, what watch are you wearing today? And what specifically on this model? Uh, it's a life connection and um, it's a new book denim uh, bracelet. Mm -hmm. This model is a uh, chronometer. Yeah. So I'm not into the technical things, but uh, I would love that people uh, can watch, uh, can see this watch. Yes, uh, I will from... show them. I have yeah. a similar yeah. one, but yeah. you have the panda dial. Yeah, and exactly. This one is really nice. Exactly. The and I love too. the colors, I love the cadran. Uh, for me, it's typical. It's typically the watch I can wear every day. Yeah. And, um, you know, during my shows, during even in the studio, you know, it's very important for me to get this watch even in concert. Yes. Because, uh, you know, as you know, maybe um, in the festival, you know, you have the time, you have one hour, two hours, one hour, one hour and a half. And we all, you, it's not, it's not so polite to watch your phone. Yes. You know, to see how long you can, you can still play on stage. Mm -hmm. So the reflex and the quick movement to watch to, to see uh, what time is it. It's very important for me to, to get this on my arm right now. Uh, as a DJ, what do you think you can bring from your universe yeah. into the watch industry? Oh, there is many ways to do uh, uh, something um, uh, new because um, there is many DJs who collaborate with uh, many, many brands. Personally, I really think that uh, this relation I have with the time is uh, kind of magical, you know, because as a DJ, as an artist, when I, I play in concert, my mission is to try to make forget the time to the people and to the audience, you know. So Frédéric Constant tried to, to project the time. He do it very well since 35 years. And, um, and me, I'm doing music uh, uh, to try to make forget the time. So I think there is something poetic, you know. Um, I like this kind of collaboration that someone can bring you something and it can bring something in, in, in exchange. So uh, Frédéric Constance for me was the, the perfect uh, collaboration for the brand. You were saying that the, the purpose of your job is to yeah. make people forget, forget time. The time. Yeah. But for a watchmaker is to make them aware of time. Yes. Do you see that as complementary or contradictory? Uh, it's, it depends how you, you, you feel, uh, how you see it. Um, from my point of view, when you listen a song yeah. and you have a crush on a song, you listen it in the loop every day, in the car, in the under the shower, I don't yeah, know. I feel like lots of people have that feeling, paired out lines. I hope so. Castle and in the snow. Yeah, and and thank you, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, when you listen to this song for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, uh, and you like the song and you play it in a loop, you print a memory. Mm -hmm. And this memory is printed through the time. Yeah. And even if you don't listen to this song anymore for like 10 years, if you listen it again 10 years later, it will bring you back yeah. into the time where you listen it in it's loop. Powerful. And that's so powerful. And I think the time is linked with these memories. So for me, there is a, it makes sense that the time is uh, the structure of our life right now. So, and the music helps to colorate, to give colors to yeah. this moment. And so it's like a lifestyle sound, you know, you have memories and you it prints in the time, but the music makes you remember this emotion. If any emotion you, I mean, maybe you broke up with your girlfriend, you listen to a song because you're sad, so you were crying and you, 10 years later, you listen to the same song and you get the same feeling. Mm -hmm. So this, there is something very interesting into it that uh, I want to, to learn and improve again more, you know, into, into the, this adventure. 
So I will maybe add something, uh, maybe create a song. I don't know, took the time, took the, the beat to the second um, mm -hmm. uh, sound, you know? Yeah. Or maybe uh, using low frequency and find something like uh, very uh, experimental, you know? I don't know, maybe something without a reason, but something like a shape, we care the reason, or I don't know. So there is many ways I can, uh, I have many ideas right now, but our partnership with Frédéric Constant is brand new. So we're working, we're working on it. And I hope that one day I, have the ch I will have the chance to, to uh, maybe collaborate on a limited edition. Mm -hmm. On a highlight great. limited edition, limited edition, sorry, for, uh, for, uh, for Frédéric Constant. I have one last question. Um, if you could give advice to a young person looking to follow in your footsteps, yep. what would you tell them? Be passionate, be, uh, be patient, mm -hmm. and uh, never stop believing in your dreams. Never stop. And uh, even if there is like uh, many obst obstacles on your road, um, go through it and put your head down and go for it. Go take your dreams. I never stop for that. Okay. Oh, just one thing. This this question is for my boss actually, yeah. Susan yeah. Wong. If I were a DJ, like could you give me a name? Like my a... name is Jordi, I'm Swiss, yeah. Spanish, I'm working in the watch industry. Yeah. Can you come up with something? If, if I show if, yeah. if, if, if I don't know your face, name, yeah. I, I have to, to yeah. give your name. What would it be? I would say um, Ricky. Ricky. Yeah, Ricky. Okay. Looks like Ricky. Yeah, yeah I'm Ricky. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Ricky I'm is fine nice. With that, guys. <laughs> Your mom is gonna see this interview? <laughs> yeah, I guess they probably <laughs> Oh, sorry for that. If Ricky doesn't fit well, <laughs> we can, no, I can no, share. It's fine. <laughs> I can go with anything. <laughs> All right. No, uh, I think we're good to go. Well, cool. thank you so much for Thank your you very answer. much. Thank and you. I hope to see you soon, interview you soon. Me too, man. Thank Thanks. you. Bye bye. bye. See you. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, this collaboration is just getting going. So, stay tuned. We hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe. Bye guys.